The key element is that I conducted long-term prospective studies uh, into the causes and prevention of post-transfusion hepatitis, which amazingly prior to 1970 uh, was about 30 percent in our patients. Uh, by excluding pay donors and by introducing first-generation tests for hepatitis B, we were able to reduce that incidence to about 10% uh, by 1970. Uh, next, we showed that most post-transfusion hepatitis was not due to the known hepatitis agents, and we called this new agent non-A, non-B hepatitis. And we spent the next decade really uh, characterizing this agent and importantly showed that it caused chronic hepatitis in about 80% of recipients and caused life-threatening cirrhosis in 20%. In 1989, the Chiron Corporation actually cloned this agent and they re renamed it hepatitis C virus. We were then able to show that we could prevent about 90%, we predicted we could prevent about 90% of post-transfusion hepatitis if we introduced this test. In fact, we did and did even better and our rates fell to virtual zero by 1997. We could calculate that millions of cases of hepatitis have been prevented by the introduction of this test, and that the risk of getting hepatitis after transfusion now is about the same as the risk of being hit by lightning. And personally, I'd rather be transfused.